From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Life is always busy. We need to stay healthy to stay happy. Life can be easy if we have proper knowledge about diseases. Let's learn about high blood pressure today. High blood pressure is also known as hypertension. Blood pressure is the amount of force exerted against the walls of the arteries as blood flows through them. In the USA, approximately 72 million people have high blood pressure. In the UK, the National Health Service estimates that about 40% of British adults have the condition. When we measure blood pressure, we gauge two types of pressure. Systolic pressure. When the heart beats, the pressure of blood on the walls of your arteries is called systolic pressure. Diastolic pressure. When your heart relaxes between beats, pressure on the artery walls is called diastolic pressure. Your blood pressure may change throughout the day. It should normally be less than 120 millimeters of mercury for systolic pressure and less than 80 millimeters of mercury for diastolic pressure. If your systolic pressure frequently stays above 140 and your diastolic pressure frequently stays above 90, then you have high blood pressure. The symptoms of high blood pressure are experienced when levels reach about 180 by 110. The symptoms typically include continuous headache, nausea, dizziness, blurred or double vision, epistaxis or nosebleeds, palpitation, fatigue or confusion, chest pain, difficulty breathing, irregular heartbeat, blood in the urine. When referring to the cause of high blood pressure it is divided into two categories primary high blood pressure no cause has been identified secondary high blood pressure the high blood pressure has an underlying cause such as kidney disease or a specific medication the patient is taking some risk factors to the likelihood of developing the condition include temperature a study which observed 8,801 participants over the age of 65 in three French cities found that blood pressure was lower when it got warmer and rose when it got colder. Ethnic background Evidence in Europe and North America indicates that people with African and South Asian ancestry have higher risk of developing hypertension, obesity, or overweight. Both overweight and obese people are more likely to develop high blood pressure compared to people of normal weight. Gender In general, high blood pressure is more common among adult men than adult women. However, after the age of 60, both men and women are equally susceptible. Psoriasis An American study that followed 78,000 women for 14 years found that having psoriasis was linked to a higher risk of developing high blood pressure and diabetes. Also, high blood pressure is triggered by physical inactivity, smoking, alcohol intake, high salt intake, high fat diet, mental stress, diabetes, and pregnancy. Diagnosis Your blood pressure can be measured with a device called a sphygmomanometer or a blood pressure cuff. It is an instrument typically consisting of an inflatable rubber cuff that is applied to the arm and connected to a column of mercury next to a graduated scale, enabling the determination of systolic and diastolic blood pressure by increasing and gradually releasing the pressure in the cuff. With a digital sphygmomanometer, everything is done with electrical sensors. Treatment Your doctor will carry out some blood and urine tests and ask questions about your health to determine your risk of other problems. If your doctor finds out your risk is high, then you'll be offered medications and you'll be advised to make some changes to your lifestyle. For one day, salt intake should be less than 6 grams. Also, you should eat a low-fat balanced diet, including plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables. Your health care provider may recommend the dietary approaches to stop hypertension or DASH diet eating plan if you have high blood pressure. Also, you should avoid red meat, palm, and coconut oils, sugary foods and beverages. You should drink less caffeine found in coffee, tea and cola. You need to be active and participate in moderate intensity aerobic exercise daily. Losing weight is important. A general goal to aim for is a BMI below 25. Your healthcare provider can help you set an appropriate BMI goal. Also, learn how to manage stress. Relax, that can lower high blood pressure. Stress management techniques include being physically active, listening to music, or being calm or peaceful, performing yoga or tai chi, meditating. Start practicing all of these today. Don't wait for tomorrow. For taking medication, exactly follow your doctor's direction. Common blood pressure medication 
mutants include ACE inhibitors, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers, calcium channel blockers, diuretics, beta blockers. These medications also have some side effects. Future treatments. Scientists, doctors, and researchers continue to study the changes that cause high blood pressure and to develop new medicines and treatments. Possible future treatments under investigations include new combination medicines, vaccines, and interventions aimed at the sympathetic nervous system, such as kidney nerve ablation. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.